page two of the exam. Which direction does the weight force act? Again, always downwards towards the center of the planet. Now, what is the difference between the weight and the force of gravity acting on an object? Uh, these are, in fact, two completely simultaneous terms. And I want to distinguish the term weight from the term mass. Weight, well, that's exactly this, the downward force of gravity, okay, versus mass. Mass is a measure of an object's inertia, meaning its resistance to being forced. And that can be a resistance to stopping as well as a resistance to starting motion. And it's also a resistance to changing direction. So mass and inertia are interchangeable terms. Mass is not a force. It's measured in kilograms. It's the amount of stuff in an object, which represents the object's resistance to being forced in the first place. Now, question number seven. If a rock weighs 290 newtons on Earth, how much mass does it have? This is a simple calculation where weight equals mg. So we have 296 equals m times 9.8 meters per second squared. We solve and we get 30.2. Now, finally, number eight. Actually, not finally, one more problem after eight. Mass of a person on Earth is 81 kilograms. What is the Marison's mass on the moon if the acceleration due to gravity is 1.6? This is a trick question. The answer is d. 81 kilograms. If I asked you for the weight on the moon, that would be a different question. That would be 81 times 1.6. And you notice, if you actually do the math here, we actually give you that as an option, as one of the choices, with even wrong units. So those are both wrong. Because I didn't ask you for the weight, I asked you for the mass. So I'm just going to write not what they asked. So please be careful. Finally, an object rises to a height h and then falls straight down. What forces, if any, act on the ball at the very top? Well, it actually turns out the force of gravity acting on an object is constant all the time. Think of it this way. Another term for a downward force of gravity is the weight. And remember, Weight never changes near the surface of the Earth. So, um, if there, you know, if something weighs 50 pounds on Earth, it's going to weigh 50 pounds when it's in the air, and uh, that part makes sense. But then to make the connection that the downward force of gravity is the weight, so the downward force of gravity pulling down it from the top of its path is the same as the downward force of gravity anywhere else. So this gravitational force is constant. Yes does speed up. It does speed up. I didn't say does the speed increase. The force stays the same and produces a constant acceleration that accelerates the ball at a constant rate. And so we have a constant force that makes it speed up at a steady pace.